Alright then guys, how's it going? JT Judgment here and let's get started with yet another legend review in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. Today we're going to be taking a look at another Italian legend, the 87 rated Filippo Inzaghi. Now this guy I was really excited to review because last year in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team I left it kind of late before reviewing him simply due to the fact that his card just looked terrible for a legend, 87 rated legend. His card looked absolutely terrible, but I regretted that so much because the guy, he turned out to be one of my favourite legends. And I think I give him an overall rating of about 9.4 or 9.5 out of 10 just to show you guys that he is absolutely or was absolutely fantastic last year and I was really excited to use this card uh, to see if he was just as good basically now when it comes to stats with the legend in Zaghi he's got some pretty decent stats 94 finishing 84 penalties 94 attack positioning 93 reactions his in-game stats are really really good for an 87 rated legend in my opinion is he worth the coins uh, that he currently goes for is he worth you guys picking him up for your team now I used him occasionally in the same team as Christian Vieri while I was reviewing them both. If you haven't seen the Vieri review, guys, it should be up before this review. Head on over to my channel and you will find it there if you are thinking of purchasing him. Now, Vieri and Inzaghi um, turned out to be one of my favourite partnerships in FIFA 14, which is why I purchased them at the same time, using them um, in FIFA 15. But this year, it turned out that they played much better for me in a sole striker uh, formation rather than a duo striker formation. Filippo Inzaghi for me was really good he's got good long shots I mean as you will see you will see some pretty good long shots in this video so if you're thinking you know I'm not going to buy him because his long range shooting is very bad then don't think that because he will occasionally surprise you from a distance as he did for me as you will see in the goals in this video he's got very good pace guys 85 pace on the card not something you need to worry about he feels like what 85 pace should feel like now one of the biggest, and I mean biggest, surprises that I found with this card, and it made me love using him, is that his dribbling and ball control is absolutely fantastic. On the, his card face, it's somewhere in the low 70s, but in my opinion, guys, no word of a lie, it feels like it's somewhere in the mid to late 80s. It was ridiculous for me how his dribbling and ball control was so good, and I mean, it really did surprise me, and it made me love using him. Just dribbling through teams and past defences with ease, it was so easy with this guy in scoring goals, just dribbling through teams was really really good so if you know what you're doing with dribbling then this legend is exactly what you want for your team his weak foot is fantastic as well he's got three star skills and three star weak foot i do believe it is but in in the box and from a distance he did manage to score an absolutely fantastic goal with his weak foot from about 30 35 yards it was ridiculous um so i gotta say his weak foot is very 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 reliable that's definitely not something that you guys need to worry about um and his positioning was really good as well he was always in the position that i needed him to be in uh, and he always made the run that I needed him to make. Yet another factor that played a huge part in me enjoying using him so much. Now, moving over to his weaknesses, guys. His finesse shots were really bad, which is, you know, it's kind of strange how someone's long shots are going to be awesome. You know, power long shots, but then when it comes to finesse shots, they're really, really bad. Even when their curve is very, very good. Sometimes when a player has awesome long shots, their finesse shots aren't the best. And it's exactly what I found with Inzaghi. His long shots are awesome, but his finesse shots are very, very, very bad his physical presence you know his strength and his aerial ability is pretty much non-existent he was muscled off the ball very easily and when it came to head and accuracy with this card it really wasn't the best either uh, it just goes to show how much heading guys has been nerfed in this game compared to last year where headers were like the most overpowered thing in the game this year headers are pretty much non-existent out of all the games that i've played so far and out of you know since the time that fifa 15 has been released i think i've scored like one header and that was with christian vieri that's the only header that i can remember scoring it's crazy now one of the biggest surprises again that i found with this card is that his finishing wasn't the best he's got 94 finishing on the card and me personally i don't know about you guys but i expect someone with that finishing stat to finish pretty much everything inside the box but the exact same problem that i had with Christian Vieri guys is that I hit the post so many times and crossbar 
with this card it got so frustrating and you know i get i got into certain games where i would take you know more than 15 to 15 to 20 shots in that game and more than three quarters of those shots would hit the ball the bar or the crossbar it was unbelievable guys so that's one of the biggest weaknesses that i found with this card is that his finishing inside the box was very inconsistent and it did not feel like 94 and his passing for me really wasn't the best it didn't seem the best in game now is he worth it i've got to say yes exactly the same that i said about christian vieri guys if he stays at his current price then i gotta say he is definitely worth buying i do believe he does currently go for around about the 350,000 coin mark uh, and what he brought to the pitch for me definitely shows that he is worth that current price tag guys so that's going to wrap up this legend in zagi review if you did enjoy uh, and it did help you decide whether or not to buy him as always a like is greatly appreciated subscribe now guys for more fifa 15 legend reviews to come in the future as well as other fifa related content and as always from me please take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys